Good kitten internet. Um, before we do anything, I'm going to reshuffle around some items. Honestly, I don't need most of these things anymore. Um, the only things that I'm going to potentially use are the high herbs. Oh, and the weapon, Excalibur. Yeah, you'll notice that it's 12 below Ash, so I was incorrect. The regular Vandal Heart is, in fact, better. But it is two better than what either Grog or Clint have. So, Clint, congratulations on Excalibur. Um, I earned... Stolen. And we are going to move back to town... So we can go pick up more healing. Specifically, we want more life orbs. Orb. I think that might actually be the only other life orb we need. Yeah. Okay. Weapon. Master blade. Cell. Got it. Okay. Now, let's head out and go to that hill. Oh, we should have hit the tavern in case they said anything different. Eh, screw it. I just want to finish the game because I'm trying to finish it tonight if possible. But first... What is this place? You're the son of a traitor! Who said that? You sold out our country! You and your father are the shame of this land! Stop. Stop it! Traitor! Traitor! Don't even think about buying any of my bread! I love that line so much. <laughs> I hate you! I hate you for all, I hate you for all eternity! Stop! <clears throat> so Ash is having some problems. Ash? Ash, what's wrong? Uh, the, uh, sorry about that. Are you okay? You don't look well. No, really, I'm fine. It just, it's nearly time for us to link our forces up with Clive. Remember those goobers? First, we're gonna have to deal with those guys. This is a simple battle. There is nothing special about this battle. I forgot to search that item spot in the previous battle. Damn it. Let me double check to see what it was first. All right, we're gonna go grab that really fast. One moment. I don't remember which of the auto saves it was. So, I'm just going to have to do this. So, you thought that battle was over, but it's not. It's not that autosave. Hopefully I saved close to the end of that. I think I did. There might still be a couple of more enemies, but, you know. Nope. That actually was the closest autosave. Well, crap. I'm going to do this off camera, so I will be right back. Just unpausing so I can show you what Astral Fire looks like. Because I've never used it. Ooh. How much does it do? Damn, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Anyway, continuing. And to answer the question as to what's in this spot... It's a necklace. I have no idea what the necklace does. None at all. Uh, yep. Just gonna pause again. Get curious as to how this is going to end. Yep. He just dies on the counterattack. Anyway, I'll get back to where I was before. One moment.
All right, and we're back. I actually didn't spend that much time on it, but there's going to be a couple of really minor differences due to XP and so on. Um, also, I ended up grabbing one extra life orb. I gave it to Ash. So, this is the last battle in the game that I know of that we fight like creatures like this. Um, also, I wanted to double check. What are any objects in here? Um, there is a weapon that I want to pick up. Also, I still have no idea what the necklace does. I uh, will deal with that later. Uh, batteries just ran out. One moment. This has just been the video of misadventure, hasn't it? So we're dealing with grenadiers and centurions and blood bats. The blood bats will be annoying because they can actually inflict a status effect. That's about it. Also, the terrain is dumb. We'll just go with dumb. You said it, kitty. So I'm going to be sending the flyers off to the sides because they're going to be the easiest ones to be able to hit the treasure chests. Like that life orb that I just bought. Oh well. Not like money's helpful anymore anyway. There's one there and one there. I want to make sure Darius is on the left side. But beyond that, it doesn't really matter. I don't suppose I can reach you this turn. I might be able to. Yep. Of course, they're in water, so they do have that terrain effect that I was bringing in. Not like that matters. Uh, Diego. I don't think... Nope. I mean, I might as well put you up here. Not that you can hit anything right now, but that might be helpful later. Might as well start moving Dolan now. There are no mages on this battlefield, so Dolan should be fine. We do have to worry about our flyers and the damn grenadiers. Throwing unlit grenades at people. Ugh. But I think this spot is safe. Ash's movement is still ridiculous. There's a chance Ash is going to get bonked with a grin. With a grenade, not with a grenadier. They're not throwing grenadiers at me, dang it. Ah, let's see. So, last video was the one that was ended up being on Christmas. So, this one's going to be on the 27th, I think. So, it's been 10 days. How's the future? Ah. Just look how cute this kitty is. Well, I mentioned his cuteness and he decides to say hi. Stretching his claws, which I did just trim. I finally found my nail trimmers. I didn't even check to see how unbalanced my party is. Turn off kitty cam. Uh, let's see. 27, 27, 27, 28, 28, 29, 27, 28, 27, 27, 28, 28. Okay, not too bad. And there are no more hidden items. In fact, I don't even think there. Yeah, no, the next battle has hidden items. We're almost at the end of the game. We have two more battles. That's it. Yep. You hit for 32, I one-shot you. I approve. Traitor's son! Oh, sorry, that was the wrong voice. Traitor's son! Huh? Who said that? Perfectly ordinary battle. Perfectly ordinary. Okay. What would I hit if I were to... Ooh, I can hit... Ooh, enemies on this line. But that would also give up my defense. I don't know if I want to do that right now. I don't want them to come toward me. But they're eventually going to start hit bonking people anyway. Uh, you're not... You're... Can I get you to there? Continue. 
do, however, want to take advantage of archery. How far are you getting this turn? Not anywhere useful. Sweet. There you go. Snipe. Ooh, I can even hit the one behind. Forgot height advantage. There's so much damage now. There you go. Hit 28. Nice. Kira, I know you're higher level than everybody else. Can you, like, reduce the hit points on that crit? Not what I was trying to do, but sure, we'll go with that. Uh, that will actually hit two as well. Boosh. Bonk, bonk. Meow. How long until you're in Salamander range? I mean, th two of you are in Salamander range now, so that's kind of useless. Push. Push the ball. Bonk. Sadly, there's only one left now, but that's okay damage. We're gonna move you down here. What is it, Essen? I know you want attention. I would love to give you attention, but that requires you to be up on my lap. I can bonk one there. I can bonk two there, but I can't reach. Yes, I can. Whoosh. Bonk, bonk. Out of curiosity. And the range on Frost Dragons isn't the greatest, so. Yeah, I can't even hit anybody with it. Um, we'll have you hide behind this one. Build up Ash, because I can. I'm leaning over too far to the left. Why don't you jump up on my lap, kitty? I think it's because I trimmed his claws, and thus he cannot sink them into my leg. I even uh, it only has one person, but I'm still gonna stand here. This is just a really easy battle. Yep, you're gonna bunk Flynn. That's fine. None of these enemies are really threats. I mean, seriously, 27 damage? Did you see how much Kane was doing to me? Yes, come closer to my fly trap. Well, you didn't poison me, so you're dead. <laughs> I hate you forever! Can that voice, can you hear it? He's hearing things. soon. Why are you crying so much, Kitty Cat? I have a perfectly cromulent lap right here that you can be on top of. Or you can curl up in your kitty pedestal. That's also acceptable. In fact, everything's acceptable, let's be honest here. You're a cute kitty. Okay, um... First off, let's focus on the poor schmucks who are level 27. Bye. Now you're 28. Did you get a new spell? No. 
I don't know if he gets another one because I honestly don't know how many spells are left in the game. So my real concern here is accidentally killing everybody. As long as I don't bonk back. Yep. That's fine. Which means I can do this. I know I'm going to take a grenade, but that's fine. Or do I have to take a grenade? Nope. I don't necessarily have to take a grenade. Oh, I didn't one shot. Surprised. Oh, you're now 28. Yep, just natural fire. Um, I don't think you could reach now. But I am gonna get um, thrown a bunch of grenades this turn. Did I get anybody from that angle? Is this? No. Um, that one can hit somebody. Oosh. Oh. Somebody. How far can I attack? Not far enough. You're dead. Or not. That's fine. Oosh. For reference, end game level is 30, because that's the highest level enemy in the game. Um, so being 28 is good enough. Well, at least move up one. Keep my height advantage. Die. Yeah, my mages are probably not gonna be doing anything this battle. There's no need for them to. I can get any closer? I don't think this is actually any closer, but let's find out. It is closer, but not closer enough. Um, which means this will also not be closer enough. Unless a pipe's messing me up. No. I need to target there. I am half tempted to just do a freaking supreme healing. I mean, why the hell not? I have the MP. Supreme, let's just heal everybody. <sighs> Only three people actually need healing. Let's waste 30 MP on it. Let's go. How's it going? I don't even need that much healing, that's the best part. I gained 22 XP from that. Oosh. Yeah, I know it wasn't gonna hit anybody, but you know, oosh. Can Frost Dragons hit anybody yet? Oh, yes, who can actually? Why not? Let's let Zohar have a little bit of fun. We don't get to see Frost Dragons very often. Turn 13 damage to somebody not weak against it. Cool. <coughs> Not gonna let you live. Alright, we still have two more chests that we're going to get at. 
So I'm probably gonna let that stupid grenadier live for a bit. The rest of those goobers, on the other hand, are dying. You sold out your country, traitor! Stop! Why won't you stop? I think that might be the last round of that. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, I do need at least one more turn. Soul water, even more souls. Okay, who's still 27? It's just these two at this point, isn't it? First off, can I shoot over that tree? I can. Bye, Bud Lat. Actually, it's slightly less optimal, but I have a tree next to me now, so I'm not going to be shot as easily. Stabbings. How far are you from leveling? 13 and 25 figures. Okay. Um, nobody's injured, are they? Nope. Which means, um, Hux? How about you def up Kira? Because she's higher level than you. Thus, you gain more XP that way. Oh, now you're 29. I mean, might as well. It's free XP. It's, I have to wait anyway. I mean, I don't have to, but I want that item. Real question is... Can I actually get Dolan to kill anything for the rest of the game? Oh, I forgot. Sarah's actually injured. Quick, let's heal Sarah. Ah, uh, yes. That's the smart move. Give the same amount of XP either way, so let's heal up Grog because we can. Four more XP. Darius, please take care of this for me. It is an axe. It's Ragnarok. And it's going to go to... Or not Flint, um, Dolan. Alright. Grog. Oh, Grog's level 27 too, I didn't notice. Let's see if I can maximize some XP. I don't need to save. I think this might just be one shot. Yep. Oh well. It was going to be 25 XP no matter who did it, so not a big deal. So it's just two swordsmen that are down at 27 now. That's not too bad. You win! Nice and quick battle. Bloop, 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 bloop. Also, welcome to having way too much money. We are having a money party for the rest of the game. But we have got some plot first before we do anything else. This video might actually be longer in plot than it is in battle. <laughs> ah. 
Ash, are you really feeling all right? Your face is blue. Traitor renegade! Stateless garbage! You big jerk! Someone stop these voices in my head! Well, that's not good. Ash, what is it? Help me! Wait, this is new. This is not what he does in the PS1 version. He didn't attack Eli in the PS1 version, did he? Yeek! Eli, get away from there! Sorry, Eli, get away from there! Do not call me a traitor! What? what what's going on? Vandal Hearts is am oh, sorry. Vandal Hearts is amplifying the darkness within Ash. He's trying to take over his soul using Ash's anger from being called a traitor's son when he was a child. This wasn't explained like this entirely, I think. I'd have to look at a YouTube video. I don't remember it being exactly like this. I definitely don't remember him attacking Elanai. Well, what can we do? I love you. Die, 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 die. No, this is definitely new. Stop it, stop it, Ash. Clive, look out. Sorry, Clive, look out. Bong. Yep. Oh. oh. What? What have I wrought? Please, Clive, please don't die. It's better this way, Ash. Oh, uh, what? I'll never forget that fateful day 18 years ago. Pretty sure that was not the way that went to the PS1 version. But it could be. It could have just looked very different. But a loading screen for a flashback. Now that's interesting. So that is apparently what Ash's father looks like. He's got a mole. Eris, I'll cover you. Go out the back. No, Aldor. I won't forsake you. Remember, Ash's father was supposed to be a traitor. Aldor Lambert, surrender the traitor Aris. Stop it, Clive. You've been deceived. Don't interfere or you'll be hurt too. Listen to me, Clive. This is all a part of the plan to ensnare Aris the Sage. I'll listen no more. Put up your sword. Didn't want to have to fight. But I have no choice. How about you? So, yeah. That happened. I found out later that Aldor spoke the truth. They were just using me to sabotage the new government. After I discovered the truth, I tried to pay, make a public announcement. The person that deceived me had already been killed in the war. I said nothing for fear of derailing the peace process. And so, the truth has not been spoken until this day. So, remember way back at the beginning that Aris the Sage was supposed to be the person to lead the government. And he just vanished one day. Turns out, Clive killed him. And Ash's father and framed Ash's father. Inadvertently framed, I should say. So, Ash's father was supposed to be a traitor because he abandoned his post of defending Aris the Sage. In reality, Aris's father's, or Ash's father's dead. Very dead. Ash, your father was no traitor. Ash, believe in yourself and do the right thing. Oh, oh. Clive! We may yet save him. Let's return to town.
So yeah, all of that. There's a lot of plot going on. They have to cram it in. I mean, we're at the end of the game, basically. Here you are, Ash. Clive will be fine. The gods, I was so worried. I nearly killed him. What right do I have fighting? What are you talking about, Ash? I can't forgive myself for this. Listen to me, Ash. It's not anyone's fault. Your father and Clive, everyone's fighting for a better tomorrow. We all have to do everything we can. Something bad happened? Yes, but we can't let all sac those sacrifices be in vain. Elena is a lot more realistic than she first lets on, because this is absolutely the, tr the truth. Any revolution is going to have some really nasty things that happen during the revolution, in reality. Uh, I don't know of any that don't. The ones that publicly do, yeah, they're probably covering something up. Or publicly don't, they're probably com covering something up. And we usually find out about it years later. So, again, Elena is being really realistic in that, yeah, Ash stabbed his best friend. His best friend lived, one. Two, forgave him. Three, was actually a bad guy away in the past, but that part's irrelevant now. And four, by revealing that to the rest of the revolution, the revolution would just die right now. Ash is the face of the revolution at this point. Neil and I. It's your time now, Ash. You mustn't use guilt as an excuse as an excuse to avoid responsibility. <sighs> You're right, Eel and I. It's just as you say. I've been selfish for too long. It's time for me to do my duty. Complete your father's dying wish. Father's dying wish. Ah, that's the same ocarina as before. Always the same Ocarina song. I actually taught myself how to play this on flute way back when. Not a particularly difficult song, so. Cats are making a bunch of noises. Yes, it's a memento for my father. Although usually I hated him, but I just couldn't throw it away. I guess all of those years, part of me never stopped believing in him. We're finally near the end of all this madness. Come on, let's go. Okay, now the next two parts, I don't remember if there is a separation between them. Something tells me there isn't, so I'm actually going to promote Ash now. So we're going back to Glasgow City. You'll notice that the, our next step is capital of Shimeria. I, I think it might be a two-parter type of thing, so... I think that can't be the case, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to equip anything. Speaking of equipping... We have Ragnarok. It's a very large attack difference. I think Ragnarok might be the weapon that's actually more powerful than Vandalheart, now that I'm thinking about it. So, his attack is 155. Dolan is 168, yeah. Alright, so um, next time we're going into the capital city of Shumeria, where, oh boy, weird things are happening. Um, I'm going to look up on a YouTube video to see if there is a separation between the two parts. I'm pretty sure there is, given that there's loot in the next battle. Multiple pieces of loot. Um, so I'll talk to you later, Internet. 
Bye.